ओके नाउ विल मूव टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री वॉट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इट इज रिटर्न एट द इनिशियल मोमेंट थ्री पॉइंट ए बी एंड सी आर अरिजेंटल स्ट्रेट लाइन एट इक्वल डिस्टेंसेज फ्रॉम वन अनदर थ्री पॉइंट आर देर ऑन लेट्स मेक द डायग्राम ऑल्सो सपोज वी हैव थ्री इक्वल पॉइंट ए बी एंड सी ऑन ए हॉरिजोटल स्ट्रेट लाइन so suppose we have three equal points a b and c a b and c on a horizontal straight line at equal distances now it says point a begins to move vertically upward with a with a constant velocity v so point a begins to move upward With constant velocity v, while it says point C vertically downward without any initial velocity, but with constant acceleration a. So point C is moving down with acceleration a, but no initial velocity. Then it says. how should point b move vertically for all the three points to be constantly on a straight line the points begin to move simultaneously so what the question is the question is we have three points on a horizontal line which are equidistant from each other means uh, if we take this distance d then this distance will also be d now it says that point a starts moving upward vertically upward with constant velocity v while point c starts moving vertically downward with constant acceleration and no initial velocity why uh, and, and we have to find how the point b should move vertically so that all these three points will remain in straight line so for this what we are going to do first first we will write an equation for these three points uh, how these three points can remain in the straight line so suppose they take the coordinates of point a is x a y a coordinates of point b as x b y b and coordinates of point c as x c and y c now if this three are on a straight line we can write y a minus y b by x a minus x b equal to y a minus y c divided by x a minus x c so if this three are in straight line we can write this relation now if we try to put the different values suppose uh, y a if we write if we uh, write y a so we can take the origin first we can take the origin suppose we define an origin at this point suppose point a is considered as point 0 0 then what we can write for y a at any moment it will be v into t initially point a was at origin so if it is moving upward with velocity v the coordinate of y a will be what velocity into time vt now y b y b we have to find divided by x a minus x b so we can see x a and x b so x a minus x b will be how much the difference is d so x a minus x b we can write as minus d because b is larger than a so we write minus d next y a so y a is again v t and y c so how much is y c y c will be since its y coordinate was initially zero 
but now it uh, goes down by acceleration a we can write it as minus half a t square divided by the distance between x a and x c so x a and x c this is minus 2 d now if we solve it for y b how much will be y b so if we solve it first this d will get cancelled and we will have y b v t minus y b first that will be equal to if we take the minus one minus v t by 2 and here also minus a t square by 4 and if we solve it further for y b it will be this term will go this side and this will also go this side so y b equal to Three V T by two. Sorry, minus sign is cancelled here. So okay, if minus sign is cancelled, this is fine. This is uh, V T will be plus, and this also be plus. Okay, so we have to write Y B equal to V T by two, and this will give minus A T square by four. So this relation we are getting for YB. What does it mean? It means the particle B should move in vertical direction with initial velocity V by 2 in upward direction. Why upward? Because it is plus sign here. Plus. So with velocity V by 2 in upward direction. Initial velocity should be V by 2. And acceleration. The acceleration should be A by 2 because if it is moving with acceleration uh, we can write it like this vt by 2 minus half a by 2 t square so acceleration is this term a by 2 so the point b should move with initial velocity v by 2 upward and a by 2 acceleration downward so this is the way by which particle b should move